everyone, this is Pamela from Design Wishes by Pamela, here to share with you my latest project design. For this project design, I used a new paper collection that I didn't realize that um, Capital Chick Designs actually had a 12 by 12 paper collection. So I was in my local Michael store and um, I knew I wanted to use some of their products um, for uh, paper crafting design and I saw this paper pad so I was super excited to get it. I also picked up a 6 by 6 pad in a different um, theme but um, I'll, talk, I'll talk about that in a later video. But anyway, I use uh, almost all of this paper pad for the pro project. So if you haven't, um, if you haven't checked Capital Chick Designs um, out, please do. They have a lot of planner products. So for this album, I used a Graphic 45 6 by 8 by 3 inch ivory rectangle tag and pocket album. It has 12 cardstock pages, 6 double side sided peekaboo pocket pages, and it also includes 6 cardstock tags. I didn't use the six cardstock tags for this project, but I will use them in, a, in another project. So let me show you what I'm calling my planner album. And when you open it up, when I open it up, you'll see why I'm calling it a planner album. I absolutely love this paper collection. I said that before, but I do. For the color options, and the color combinations and the graphics, um, it kind of pulled me a little bit out of my my uh, comfort zone. I usually do not use a lot of pink, but I did in this album. So you can see how substantial this uh, planner album is. Again, it's a three inch spine, and here I just did the um, label. The, the label um, on the actual album from Graphic 45 it's it's right here. It has rivets, but I pulled those off and I moved the book plate up to the top of the spine. These um, really pretty gold um, brads are from Michael's store. They're the Recollection brand. They come in a lot of really pretty metallic colors. The shine that you're seeing on two of the motifs here I achieved that by using Ranger Inks um, heavy embossing um, powder. It's not even a powder, it's like crystals. I use it when I make my paper beads. It gives a really nice enamel look and I thought it would be really nice to pop up. Uh, these look like binko leaves um, on the front of the album. And then the back of the album, I just went ahead and repeated um, the same print. This is basil um, paper. I wanted something a little bit more sturdy and you can see there's some texture to it as well. I'm using Recollection brand ribbon here. This is just a satin ribbon to for a closure. Very simple um, closure, but I think the paper is, I wanted the paper really to stand out and it does on the cover. So it opens up like this. I just used two brads. Again, this is that basil uh, paper. I just double folded it for strength and then I used some gifted uh, eyelets. My sister Mary gifted me some eyelets. And I like these eyelets because they're, they're um, large. So again, this is a planner um, album. So you're going to see calendars. You're going to see some other things that you would see in a planner but you're also going to see things that you would see in a mini album so the front of the album i used uh, i have the the six months the first six months of the year january through june and um, what i have done to secure my pages for that is just use some cardstock the solid cardstock uh is from michael store it's recollection brand call it um, cardstock except for the spine that I just mentioned on the cover so it opens up like this and what I have used 
Uh, let's see if I can get this a little lower for you. Oh, just a little bit too much. Um, what I have used is a product from uh, Tim Holtz. This is um, some assorted uh, pockets, uh, large pocket page pockets, and they're assorted. Um, they're not all the same, and you'll see that in the back half, but um, they worked perfectly. I did have to trim off um, just shy of a quarter of an inch just to fit within the inside of the uh, cover of the album. So this is January, and then I created um, the notes uh, page, little pocket pullout, because you're always in a planner, need somewhere to jot some notes down. Where did I get the January and the notes? So I actually um, used the 2021 calendar uh, file from silhouette design and i will put a link either in this video or a, a link in the description box on youtube on, on what that design um, is from silhouette america and then you fold it down let me pull it up here and then you have february and that repeats the um, look and then march of course and i highlighted some of the gorgeous papers and then april and then May, and then June. And the other uh, thing I did, so so that I didn't have a black, blank uh, inside cover, is I used some of the really nice stickers from the collection. And also, uh, let me show you those. They have several different stickers, and I use this uh, book of stickers. Really love them. Nice quality stickers. But uh, what you can do here, and I'll just use one of the tags. This is one of the tags that comes out of the, is I, you know, put a little pocket here. And then I also put a pocket up here. So um, lots of places to jot a note or um, just whatever you like. So that is the first half of the year. Then on this opposite page here, what I have done is I took one of the really nice stickers. See, these stickers are just absolutely gorgeous. And then what I, I did was I just, on the second uh, insight, I created a flap. There's a magnet in there and it folds out right here. I did a double belly band and then I created two tags in two different sizes here. But again, just lots of places to put notes and um, things. And let me just show you that I am using um, basic gray magnets. I love these magnets. I use them all the time. They're sort of my favorite magnets. They're, they are super, super strong. So on the next um, page set, I did my classic punch pocket right here. If you watch some of my videos, you'll see um, how I do that. And then here, what I've done is um, Capital Chick, uh, Chick Designs has a variety of um, vinyl stickers and I'll pull like the package. <laughs> I kind of destroyed the package, but anyway. These are die cut stickers. So I'm just gonna show you, this is just one of them right here. And uh, if I can get that paper off, this is a, um, let me see, go back here. This is a sticker, so it's sticky. Anyway, there are uh, a lot of designs, you get a lot of 34 and they're doubles. So there's some really great, great ones in here um in this collection right here and you'll see that i embellish um throughout here's another one of the stickers from the sticker book i used and what i did was i kept it open here so that you know this won't stick to your um 
your photo mat or your journaling card. And then this is just a coordinating tag that goes in this pocket. And then for the pocket, so there's a pocket in here. What I have done is created a, this could be journaling, this could be notes, this could be a frame for a photo, and then another one of those great stickers. And I, I really like how the stickers just happen um, to match the cardstock that I had. And that goes right into the pocket um, right here. So then on the other side, what I have done is created another pocket. I used the sticker element, some of that gorgeous paper. And again, you can stick a, a tag in there. You could stick a journal and card, a note, or whatever. It'll go right in there easily. Here I have made a coordinating photo mat that goes in there. And again, you can just, it sits right in there into that tag pocket. So this is my um, classic punch pocket again but I squared it off and I just use a little bit of this border right here I use this strip right here and I made a little banner so you could see that that banner there and then I took up one of the stickers and I put it on some black cardstock and I popped that up with the foam dot so for here I did two diagonal pocket uh, slip pockets and I made two um, mats again you could put a photo there and then you can write something here on the cards and then you also have the space here to also jot um, notes down or put photos one of my favorite 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 uh, graphics in the paper collection is this uh, pink and again it's drawing out um, a little bit away from my comfort zone because I usually don't use pink uh, a lot or even bright colors uh, so again I did a matching uh, flip pocket this one's a little different let me just show you beautiful gorgeous sticker here you could put a photo here um, these are two punch um, two tags that I created uh, for the slip pocket and then this is also a pocket here so lots of places again to um, tuck uh, notes or slips of paper or or whatever um, you want right into this and again this has a magnetic closure on this side of the uh, planner album I created a little slip here to hold the pockets the flat pockets down and then this is for, um, you could do journaling or notes or put a photo. Again, very inspirational um, messages in their stickers, uh, which I love, which I love. And again, that's a pocket. So you can um, slip, you know, something right into the pocket as well. For this one, I repeated the insert here. I did a coordinating um, tag here. Could be journaling again, it could be a photo. And then um, for the other side, you'll see this will coordinate. Beautiful, beautiful papers. And you're gonna see that gold and white in just a second here. So for the gold and white section, um, and as you can see, it, it really coordinates well uh, with the other side of the tag here. I did, very simple, I used the teal because it is a theme that runs through the paper collection. I did a large tag for the pocket here. And then I did two tags, two different sizes, and did the angle pocket um, here at the top. So for this side, uh, gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous papers. I did a little um, gusseted pocket here for some of the larger um, items you may have in your planner, maybe some extra photos, a nice place for journaling here. Here's um, my classic. What I, do I done here is took my X-Acto knife and I cut around some of the motif in the paper and it makes a really good tuck spot. And uh, uh, just a simple, you know, piece of uh, cardstock could be no, could be photo. This is 
really cool design. Um, again, I replicated, I took my X-Acto knife and I trimmed around here and I trimmed at the top and what that does is it holds your photo mat. It just lifts up and then slides right back into place here. So you can use this for all kinds of different things. Again, I replicated the um, pocket like I had on the other side. And then this just flips up just like that. And again, that is a pocket. You can slip something right in there if you wanted to. So um, for this pocket, what I have done is created a tracker. So if you're a planner person, you can just jot a note here and then you can just track it um, with the 31 days of the month or 30 days or um, 28 days of the month, however, but I did create that. I, I created this in Microsoft Excel. And then with the coordinating papers, and then on the back, you will see um, this. I cut this motif from the paper collection and I created a tuck spot so you can easily tuck something right into that flower. And that fits inside the pocket right here. I really like this this page is kind of different it matches the um, kind of like the funky leopard print um, or spotted animal spotted print uh, paper that is the that I use from the collection there is one of the um, image uh, stickers that I used and then some of the really you're killing it um, and I think it's really appropriate for the animal animal print anyway for here I just made two tags and um, this is a pocket. It doesn't go all the way down, but it, it does stop. Uh, and that's where I have the smaller tag. And then this larger tag fits in there. And as you can see, I made sure that um, I didn't pull the sticker off uh, the top here so that you could easily sit that pocket in here. On this, um, that tag, excuse me, on this side of the page, it was kind of doing like a French message board not exactly but you know close so that little items can be tucked into the um, into it really easily and you know I collect all kinds of things uh, in the planner I use uh, or when I'm using a planner mostly when I'm out of town or going out of town is when I use a planner or a traveler's notebook but I thought that was a really cool idea. You could use this for some of those small um, it, um, cell phone printer. You know, the two by threes, I think, will fit here just perfectly. Here I kind of rec replicated the triangle split pockets, nice large tags. You could put a nice uh, photo large photo in here. Again, plenty of places to write and it's uh, big enough for a um, add a few more items and this is the center of the album and for the center of the album I created this ring here where you can take and stick a pin um, a pin right in there and then and, and there's a nice placeholder and as you can see the album will close up just fine with that plant pen sitting in there so um or a pencil or whatever writing device or you can just leave it as a ring to hold something here is some of the really gorgeous uh foil papers that are in the uh collection so sorry guys it was just adjusting for um i got a little bit of cloud cover today but it's open on both sides, so you can certainly um, do two different pocket looks here. This here, there's a pocket right here, so again, I just added another tracker um, onto that with the coordinating paper here. And then this matches the other side of the album for a photo mat. Um, or you could stick notes in it, but um, it just fits right in there. 
Here, again, I did the classic punch pocket. I layered a piece of black cardstock on there so it wasn't just cream. Made two journaling note cards, kept it really simple. You could use a chalk pencil here if you wanted. And then every planner usually has a full year calendar and I created this calendar here um, in Microsoft Word. So then what I did was I used the two, the brads that you see here so that you can just slide out this year and put a new year in. And this is some of the gorgeous um, paper here from the paper collection. So then they just fit right into those brads just like that. Let me do this one here. It fits so easily, so you could easily do this um, with uh, the next year's calendar. But you have the full year calendar at a glance. This one's a really fun, and let me see if I can get this light to cooperate. This is a really fun page. I use a, some of the stickers from the sticker collection, but isn't this gorgeous? There's two magnets that go right here. This one flips up like this. So plenty of places to put photos. I did a tag. I did a squared off pocket here. So you get a little fun element with, with, her, with her sticking out, out just like that. It kind of pops. Again, there's magnets there. And then this side flips open and you have the opposite effect. And then I used the sticker from the paper collection here. I really like this one too. I don't know if you saw that before, but Optimist. For here, <clears throat> I believe this is, it. oh, Gratitude. Okay, so again, gorgeous paper. So for this one, I did a gratitude tracker. I think it's really important to, tr uh, to track gratitude. Uh, this is a beautiful quote for from Maya Angelou and then also uh, from Roy T. Bennett. Start each day with a positive thought and a grateful heart, which is so true. And then from Maya Angelou, let gratitude be the pillow upon which you kneel to say your nightly prayer and let faith be the bridge you build to overcome evil and to and welcome good so important and then on the back you'll see that it coordinates with the next page so that's in that pocket and for this page i did a photo mat this is a four by six um you could easily put a four by six photo in here you can do this as a journaling card um or note card and then the same here, you can use this for photo or you can um, use it as a journaling card. Gorgeous papers again. This one is one of my favorite, 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 favorite. I made this tassel out of hemp cord and some beads from my beading collection. Two brads, kind of hold everything together. And then it opens into this beautiful gate fold. Now, I kept this fairly simple because the animal print, I wanted it to stand out and I think it stands out here. I did a note card or a photo mat in a belly band that goes right here in the gate fold that folds just like that. And then um, you can just, you know, close it up, which I think is really funky and sassy. Anyway, um, on this side, I did a vertical belly band and again, another journaling mat or um, note card or photo mat on this side. Kept it really simple, but again, I really wanted to have the animal print paper stand out. Here is another one of the beautiful uh, vinyl uh, I think this is vinyl sticker stickers here and then a lovely quote. I did a double um, pocket here and then I backed the inside with the coordinating paper. If you watch some of my videos um, on YouTube, you'll see that I do that a lot. Again, I replicated this uh, flip pocket um, here. 
I did the belly band. There's the Stay Bold from the, the paper collection. Just to show you, you don't always have to use a magnet. There's all kinds of ways you can secure a flip element in your albums. And then there's a last one. I just added one more tracker in there. So um, lots and lots of places here. This is a tuck spot. Um, again, I did a tuck spot with one of the, the elements here. Really makes it fun. Um, really, really nice place to just pop a note or something that's in that pocket. And then this is another one of my favorite, favorite parts of the album. I used her, this little motif here from the sticker collection. And then I also cut out part of the flower on the paper. And then this makes a really nice little slip pocket or slip spot to hold tags or notes or, or whatever. Um, they just slide right on in there. And uh, I just think it's really, really fun. I, I do this a lot in some of my projects and I, I think you should use your design paper uh, beyond the normal, what you think. And then I did two matching tags for this side. Gorgeous, again, I kind of stretched myself. Use the pink, use the pink avenue appreciation thanks to this paper collection. And then the very back of this album, I kind of replicated what I had in front. I did a, a flip pocket. Gorgeous, gorgeous paper. Wanted to keep it simple, so I uh, just left the paper here like this to highlight it. It's just really gorgeous. And again, you can see that these are different from these right here. And uh, this opens up, this is the um, back half of the year starting July and ending in December. You see, and I created the notes and then this flips up to August using the papers to kind of highlight each one and September, October, gorgeous papers, November. Again, you could write on here as well and December really really nice here i did not make pockets i just kept this uh, blank so you could put a photo a place you can write a note add some of the stickers if you want in the sticker collection um just really 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 nice um, designs and design elements uh, from capitalist um, chick designs I hope you love this project. I hope it inspires to make uh, for you to make your own uh, planner album. And I hope you're inspired to use a paper, this paper collection from um, Capital Chick Designs. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Click on the bell so you get notifications when my next video is uploaded. Thank you so much and have a good day.